Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to create your own rubber stamp. Uh, first of all we need to create our canvas so by, by, by clicking a new file set set in the well I set it in 400 width and 400 height and my color canvas is white press ok we have our new canvas <coughs> What we want first to do to have to achieve is the shape of the the rubber stamp. Um, you can do it round, you can do a square, you can do any type of shape for your rubber stamp. Um, I'm just gonna do a round rectangle shaped one. So okay. So first of all, we select the red the rounded rectangle tool. Rounded rectangle, and we we draw that in our canvas. So, um, rubber stamps don't have any fill, so that's one of the first things you gotta do. You gotta take the fill out, no fill, and give it a black border if you want a black, a black um, rubber stamp, and set your border width to 10 pixel. Now the rubber stamp has a texture, like a rubber texture when you stamp it on a paper. Um, to get that effect, I use the, the texture burlap in, fi in fireworks and, and I set it to 100%. So you see, it gives us that um, groomy texture of a rubber stamped on a paper. Next what we want is to um, put the text inside a round rectangle that we just created by clicking uh, we do that by clicking text tool and typing any message you want to be you want inside your round rectangle in my case I just type um, parentheses multimedia We select our text and make sure it fits nicely in our round rectangle. Now, um, if it fits, we select both objects and we want to align the text inside the round rectangle in the, in the exact center. Okay, so by doing, uh, we go to window, selecting align, and we we'll click align horizontally and vertically. As you can see, fireworks aligned aligned the text inside the round rectangle for us. Now, what we the next thing to do is we want to give the same texture that we did to the round rectangle. Apply it to the text we just created. If you notice, if we click the text, we don't have the texture option in our properties panel. So to achieve that, to get that texture option, we we got to convert our text to path. How do we do that? Well, we go to text and we click on convert to path, which virtually convert converts any text to path. Yeah, well. <coughs> Sorry. So now you can see in a property panel that we got the option texture. So the same the same texture we apply to the round rectangle, which was burlap, we're gonna apply it to the text. We we'll go to texture, select burlap, and but we're we're not gonna select the same um, percent that we did for the round rectangle. We're gonna we're gonna select a lower percent. We're gonna isolate uh, seventy percent is pretty pretty nice 70 percent so you see we got we're almost finished and it's almost looking like a round rectangle sort of so we, now we're gonna spin it a little bit okay we select both objects we group it and we select modify transform free transform and spin it upwards just slightly like so There you have it. Have your very own rubber stamp of your own, your own creation.
creation it looks pretty cool when you print it on a paper it looks almost real and I hope you enjoy it thanks for watching